Hello everybody, this is John. I'm just here finishing up the uh, the fire giant task that I got during the last episode. Uh, give me just a second, I should have this task finished. It should be the last one, unless a West Buddy glitches out like it does so often. Uh, yep, let's see. 12 points, 779. Excellent. Let's go ahead and head to my house so I can get my prayer restored and we can head to Neve and get a new task. I do go to Duradil every 10 tasks so I can get, you know, better points. Alright, so let's see. Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's something juicy. I'm not Curtis. Hopefully it's something good. <laughs> you know, I'll take that. And I think... Hmm. How many do I have? 779? This is the task that I need the uh, herb sack for. And I think at this point, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and get it. 29. I can't skip a task, but it's okay because it's a Spectre task, and I'm not going to skip that anyway. So we just got to hope that the next few tasks are pretty decent. Okay, so apparently you can't put a clean herb in the herb sack. I don't really know how I feel about that, because I usually like to clean my herbs as I get them, instead of having grimy herbs in the bank. But, uh... I don't know, I guess I gotta change my playstyle a little bit if I'm gonna use the herb sack. It sucks though, because I don't like... <laughs> I don't even have a bank space for, like, grimy herbs that I can clean. So, uh... Yeah, maybe I'll just have to... I don't know. Maybe I have to uh, clean them before I put them in the bank. I don't know, we'll see. I probably won't do that, honestly, so I'll probably just have to put some grimy herbs in the bank. Uh, it is what it is, though. Oh, look, we got a hard clue scroll from an Iberman Spectre. Uh, we got plenty left, so I think I might as well go ahead and do this while I have it. Maybe I can get another one this task, we'll see. Uh, I haven't got any, uh, superiors yet, or any other interesting drops, really. And I'll tell you what, I'm loving this herb sack. I think if I didn't have the herb sack, I would have already had to bank by now. Uh, let's just teleport out here. I'm lazy, so we're just gonna... Oh, we're gonna walk away first. Right. Let's see how many herbs we already have in here. Fill. And check. Oh. Uh. Don't feel like doing math. I probably would have had a bank. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out the clue scroll. Uh, range of field. Okay, cool. So, I'm gonna do my little clue scroll compilation like I did last episode, because I kind of like that. Oh no, I don't have... Uh, I don't have the crozier, or crozier, or whatever. Oh, that's the dropped clue scroll, unfortunately. I could try to grind out a crozier, but I don't know... They probably come from medium or easy clues, I'm not sure yet. Oh, my friend left. Okay, well, that's the end of that clue scroll then. And just to double check, I don't actually have the crozier. I do have a headband... But no crows here, unfortunately. Uh, according to my clan, uh, according to this dude from my clan, uh, we, they're from medium clues. And uh, I don't really want to grind out medium clues, to be honest. So, you know what, I'll get it one day, and then that's the day that I won't have to drop this clue anymore. Boo. <sighs> Good morning, guys. I just logged into the game, and we already got a clue scroll. So, I guess we're going to do that <clears throat> real quick, like... We got 60 kills left, or 57 at this point, so might as well go ahead and do it now, see if we can get one more before the task is over. Good thing I didn't just pot up either. Oh god, that's gonna hit. Just kidding, I don't actually have a rune heroic helm yet, so that was kind of pointless to teleport out. Oh well. Alright, there should be 81 Slayer coming in, I believe. Ten. Ten remaining XP. Alright, this time for real. Here we should be getting 81 Slayer coming in. And, boom, there we go. Didn't unlock anything, but 81 Slayer, good milestone. Not really, but we're working our way towards uh, the whip. Look at this big ugly thing. Look at this dude. <laughs> and we get a Vento. 
Nice. And a couple Guam leaves. Oh my god. That's perfect. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'm going to include the first one in the video, because it was uncompletable on the very first step, but we just got the second uh, hard clue. I think it's actually the third, because I think I had one from uh, playing yesterday. So, the second or third hard clue from this task, and I can do this. I only got 17 more specters to go, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the task, and then we can do the clue. Well, I didn't record the last kill of the task, but that's okay. Let's just go grab a new task real quick. I have 41 points. So, hopefully this task isn't something I have to skip. Uh, I hate this task, and I usually would skip it. But, given the fact that I only have, like, 40 slay points, and given what the next task could be, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, but first, we got this clue scroll, so... Uh, maybe this time I won't do the little clue scroll montage thing. I'll just hop right to the casket. Alright. Here we got a reward casket. Let's see what kind of goodies we get. Nothing, really. Yeah. Bad clue. Whatever. It's all good. So I decided for tasks like these, I might as well have a little bit of cannonballs. I have about 600 and something in my uh, bank. So, you know, getting a little bit more won't hurt. It's pretty AFK anyway. I can do this while I eat or watch watch some YouTube or streams or something. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how many I'm going to get. I might uh, try to get up to a 1,000 uh, in my bank. And then I'll probably go do the elf task using the Mourner HQ. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and, yeah, that's... Because otherwise, elves are kind of a shit task, and I don't want to do them the right way. So, yeah. Alright, so I've got almost all of my steel bars made into cannonballs. Uh, I'm not going to use them all in case I need to use a steel bar for something, like a quest, I don't know. But when I said that I had 600 and something cannonballs already, I was actually thinking about my chinchampas, which I have, well, that number. Uh, I actually had like 50 cannonballs or something. So I made about 1600, and as it turns out, I really enjoy making cannonballs because of how AFK it is, I can just watch a stream. So what I'm thinking is... I might go to Blast Furnace and make a bunch of steel because I need to get my smithing up so I can do Dragon Slayer 2. And what that'll do is that will allow me to make a lot of cannonballs so I can cannonball a lot of my Slayer tests. And I think that'll make my Slayer level go by a lot quicker. So as of right now, that's the plan. I don't know if I'll do that before or after I finish the elf task. I guess we'll see in a bit. Right, so I got 53 smithing without even realizing it. So I didn't even get the recorder up in time. But here we go, this inventory of steel should be 54 smithing. Did I say thieving? I think I said, I don't know. This will be 54 smithing once uh, this goes through. Right about now. Yep, 54 smithing. Uh, mithril dart tips. That's actually good because the mithril is what I'm mainly going to be using in my blowpipe. Assuming that I would have had the smithing level by then anyway, but hey, I got it now, so that's cool. Probably won't get any more smithing levels here because I only have, uh, let me take a peek here real quick. Yeah, I'm only going to make exactly 100 more steel bars, so, yeah, we're almost done here. I decided to go ahead and do the cannonballs before I did the, uh, task, just because I'm watching streams and I want to AFK right now. Here we have 55 smithing coming in. One level closer to being able to do Dragon Slayer 2. I accidentally uh, stopped recording, so that clip's a little bit fucky, that's why. <laughs> Alright, so here's the last of my cannonballs made. I decided to go ahead and make all the cannonballs before doing the task, just because I was already here. Uh, I got, I bought about a thousand iron and coal, well I bought about a thousand iron, I already had the coal, and I made all that into cannonballs, so let's see, I have almost, I got about 5600 now, so that'll probably last me for a few Slayer assignments. Um, so yeah, now I can go do the elf task and probably cannon a few more after that. I think I'm going to save these for tasks like hellhounds and stuff that I just, that are kind of slow. That means I can actually unlock hellhounds and cow fights off of my block list. Hello, we got a uh, clue scroll on this task. And by the way, let me tell you, making these cannonballs, 100% worth. Already on this task, this is so much better. I just sit here, the cannon does the work for me, I have to reload sometimes. These guys just aggro to you if you're not wearing the mourner outfit. You just sit here. 
let them come to you, kill them. Your cannonball does most of the work, really. If you get it in the right position, you can actually do it like that, where it shoots two cannonballs at once, but that doesn't always happen. And I don't actually understand the physics or the uh, mechanics of the cannon, so I don't know how to make that happen every time. But uh, yeah, we got this clue scroll. Let's take a look at the step, if I can. Alright, it's a map. Oh boy, a wilderness step. I used to drop these, but you know, I'm not really afraid of the wilderness anymore, so yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. I am going to finish the test though, because I cannot be asked to come back here every time. So yeah, I'll see you then. Alright, <clears throat> here comes the uh, tail end of my task. Last clue right here. Still got the hard clue, haven't done it yet, of course. Uh, there we go, got it. So I was going to try something different. Um, so OS Buddy tells you to put your cannon in this spot right here. Oh, come on, don't do that. And I noticed that if uh, like if the uh, mourner is where I'm standing or right here compared to the cannon, it'll shoot two cannonballs at once, as you can see right here. Oh, well, thanks for ruining my example. Anyway, I tried setting it up right here, but by the time that I did that, I already lost aggro, so it didn't work out because they kept pulling me because they have a two, two block reach. Anyway, that's the task. We pick it up so it doesn't start another kill. And are you going to attack me? No, we're good. Alright, so we've got a few points now we can skip tasks with, so I'm not too worried about that. And Dagonoth, that's good. I don't think I'm going to kill, uh, of, what is it called, Dagonoth Kings. I might uh, do a little bit of Rex, maybe, I don't know. I'll probably just do all of this in the Catacombs of Koran like I always do. But first we got a clue scroll to do. Right, so, I don't know if I included this in the video, but do you remember that clue that I couldn't do yesterday because of the Rune Herodic uh, Helm? Well, we got it again. Second clue step. <laughs> ah, that's just my luck with these things. I need to get more medium and easy clues, though, so I can fill in the bank. Um, I'm going to mess around and try to kill this guy, I think. Actually, I can't. He's a lot lower level than I am. I forgot how the woody works. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, I've been putting off the quest requirement for this clue for a while now. I've had this clue for about a week or two, and I have all the requirements to complete Legends Quest, so I might as well go and do it while I have it and see if I can maybe complete this elite clue. I don't know what uh, step this is. Okay, it's the first step. <laughs> so, not a super high chance we can complete this, but you know, we can try. Alright, I started this quest about maybe like a week or two after my account was created, and I'm finally finishing the quest. And so, as I understand, I do believe I get... Hello? Can I finish the quest? Ah, the main legend gives hell. Okay, I'll do that. Alright, so this time, um, as I understand, I believe I get some experience and some stats. Yeah, let's see what we're getting. Uh, so, melee... Okay, um, let me, I have the uh, quest guide open, so let me see how much XP I get. Well, it doesn't actually say. Well, so I would normally go with, like, uh, strength, but I think I want to put them in prayer. How much do we get? Ooh, that's actually a lot. Let's just put them all in prayer, I think. That might be a bad idea, but it's okay. I don't mind training the other stuff. Prayer is a little bit more hard to train. Though, magic or range would also be pretty good, but I'm just going to go with prayer, because i got to get 70 prayer for Mauritania Hard Diaries anyway, so this will just give me a little boost to that. And this should maybe give me a level? Nah, not quite. Just a little bit off. Anyway, there's a quest done. We can do the Elite Clue Scroll step now. And, uh, I don't even know what the Legend Guild really offers me. What's down here? I think there's a bank upstairs somewhere. What is this? I did not like this quest very much. At the beginning, the quest wasn't too bad, but it got kind of tedious going back and forth to the Karazi jungle over and over again. And this is probably one of the quests where I believe if I would have just followed the quest guide on the wiki instead of a Slayer music guide, I probably would have got it done a little bit quicker. But yeah, there's the quest done. Looking pretty okay on the quest points. I should probably work faster towards quest cape now that I have that done. What is this? Oh. 
So I guess the next major quest is gonna be Dragon Slayer 2, unless I wanna do something like Monkey Madness 2. Probably Monkey Madness 2 or Dragon Slayer 2. Uh, either one. Alright, so I'm feeling a little bit dumb right now. According to the wiki, uh, we could also get the skill, uh, the, the XP in Herblore, which would have been a lot better than Prayer. Um, that was, what, like 30k experience? Something like that, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was kind of... <laughs> I really should have put that in Herblore. I feel kind of dumb now. Hello, Yuri. I don't know if I have a, dra a dragon medium helm. I, I can probably get one, though. I'll see about doing this clue as soon as possible. Alright, so we got a uh, clue scroll right here. It's a medium clue scroll. This is right at the beginning of the task, so I'll probably do it right now, actually. Let's go. Here we, are, we got a casket from the medium clue that I collected from the Dagonoth. Oh, baby! That's not actually a rune helm, damn it. Hey, we got a boater, though. That's cool. I have been waiting for this clue scroll this entire task. In fact, I brought fewer prayer potions and fewer attack and strength potions than I usually bring just because I figured I would get this before I had to bank. But no, I had to bank, and now I'm back here about 10 or so minutes after I banked, and now we get the clue scroll. <laughs> Let's check it out. I probably shouldn't attack this guy. I can take a peek. Maid, Warden, Fur. I didn't read that. Drunken Dwarf. That's fine. We can do that. Cool. So I will see you probably with a casket, or I will see you sooner than that if there becomes a step that I can't do. Here we are, we got a casket. I almost died in the wilderness here. Ooh, nice, a Ceridum and Dehyde. That's actually really good. I don't have a god top, a uh, god Dehyde top yet. Some Felded Pills Tellies, that's nice. Fire Lighters, I guess that's cool to have. Not a bad clue, I'm okay with this. Very good. Upgrade. Okay guys, so I noticed something, and I've been considering what I'm going to do after I get my 85 Slayer. Right now that's my major goal, to get 85 Slayer for the Abyssal Whip and the Dragon Boots. I'm probably going to also get 70 Prayer so I can use Piety and do the Mauritania Hard Diaries. And then I'm going to grind to get a Carol's Top. And I think at that point, once I have the Whip, Dragon Boots, and Carol's Top... I'll probably also get a Crystal Shield, and I think I'm going to try to go to Bandos. I think my stats right now are pretty okay for that. I'll have to get my Herblore up to make Cerebrews, but... And probably my Magic, so I don't get destroyed by the Mage Minion. But otherwise, I think I'm kind of ready to go. I've never done Bandos before, so it'll be pretty fun. And I might do a little trial run, like, just with my D-Sim. It's not going to go well, probably. But I'm going to try it anyway, maybe. Maybe. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much my gear. Aside from the upgrade to the whip, D-Boots, Crystal Shield, and Carol's Top, I think this is what I'm going to go with. I have these Bandos boots and a Zami robe I'm going to use to get into there. I don't know if I need an Armadillo item. I got this Holy Blessing in case I need that. But I'm thinking you only need a Zami and a Bandos, but I have no idea because, like I said, I've never done GWD before. God Wars. So yeah, tell me what you think, and if there's something I could maybe upgrade or do better. I probably will bring the Ring of Life instead of like a Berserker Ring or Warrior Ring because I don't have it yet for one and I'm probably gonna die a lot so I would rather have the Ring of Life to save the time from going back and getting my gear. So yeah let me know what you think, what I could do, what you think I should do and I think it will be really really incredible actually to snag an early on Bandos item. If I got like a Tacit or a chest plate, that would be incredible for my account. Anyway guys, that's going to be where I wrap up this video. It went on quite a bit longer than I meant to, but I had to do that little ramble, that little spiel about God Wars Dungeon. Uh, so yeah, tell me what you think about that. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about the video, how you feel about how I've been editing things. Tell me what I can do better, because I'm not doing things the best way that I can. I know that. And I want to learn. I want to get better at doing this whole Iron Man Progress video thing. So yeah, drop a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys on episode 3.